G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and welcome to my second blog. You know, these blogs are probably, for a while, they're going to be about clinic stuff because I'm doing some clinics in Australia, so I want to talk about some experiences I've had at certain clinics. And I did a clinic in south of Perth in Western Australia one time and it was a four-day clinic, you know, like a problem-solving horsemanship with a bit of reining thrown in clinic. But one fella brought along a, uh, a young horse that hadn't been started to the clinic. And I had done some clinics there before and I'd always talked about the groundwork I do, but we'd never really done any groundwork. Anyway, uh, so I said, you know what, this young horse here, what I might do is start the clinic an hour early and work with this young horse before the clinic and then when the day is over I'll work with it again and I'll kind of show you guys the process to getting a young horse you know started. Anyway so the first day it went well, the first morning went well, second afternoon, first afternoon went well, second morning went well, second afternoon went well and I said you know what by the end of this clinic I might actually be able to get on this young horse. It was you know taking everything quite well and so anyway by the end of the fourth day I actually was preparing to get on it and ride it for the first time in the in the round pen there and there was a, a fellow there he starts a lot of young horses in Western Australia and he said um, so are you gonna wear a helmet and a vest when you get on that young horse for the first time and I said no and he says well I, I, I never get on a young horse for the first time without a helmet and a vest and I said well you've been watching this for the last four days let me ask you this, do you take as many precautions to make sure the things that could go wrong don't go wrong? Like if you've got this horse to where it's not belligerent, you know, you can ask it to do anything, it says yes sir, no sir, three bags full sir, any of that sort of stuff would cause a bucking. I said, I've been through all the desensitizing stuff, any of the thing that would cause a spooking which would turn into a bucking episode, I've been, you know, I've been through all that stuff. Do you go through as many steps as I do? And he goes, no, no, I don't go through near as many steps as you do. And I said, well, okay, then you probably need a helmet and a vest. So, you know, I'm not against helmets, but what I am against is people wearing helmets on horses that you're pretty sure it's going to buck or spook. Or, you know, if you're riding a horse and you think it might be spooky or it might tend to bolt or it might tend to whatever, and you think wearing a helmet on that horse is, is being safe, that's like driving a car with no steering and no brakes. And you know it's got no steering and no brakes and thinking, well, I'm going to take my helmet and put my helmet on and I'm going to be safe going to work. You, you just wouldn't do that. Okay, and I know I'm going to get some backlash from this because helmet people are like, everybody needs to wear a helmet. There's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not against helmets, but if your horse, if, if there's any chance your horse is going to do something stupid, don't wear a helmet. Get that part fixed before you get on the horse, you know what I mean? You know, don't get on a horse that's poorly prepared. And, you know, for me, it's being able to do all the groundwork really, really, really well. If you've watched any of my videos on... Um, on YouTube, like the, all the basics I go through, like with that warm black, black warm blood stallion, you know, he's really perfect at all that sort of stuff. And he was a pretty scary horse to start out with when we first got him. He ended up riding around fine, but um, you know, I, I really don't want to get on any horse that can't do all that stuff that well because that basically tells me whether something's going to go wrong or not, you know. And I don't put on the helmet and the vest and think, well, I know he's going to do it wrong and I'm going to get hurt, so this will lessen the injury when I do get hurt. I don't want to get hurt. I'm a big chicken, so I want to make sure those horses are really, really well prepared uh, before I ever get on them. So, anyway, something to think about. See you guys next time.